Daniel Ventura here with the Inspired Mind. Now, ooh, I gotta make sure I know which direction to look at. So, right now I'm at Alamona Beach Park. Right across the way there is uh, Waikiki. You got the boat harbor right there. People are out there sailing away, right? Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about micro commitments, right? Micro commitments. Little tiny commitments that can actually go a long way. So let me ask you this. Have you ever thought about exercising? And, uh, you know, a lot of times when we think of exercising, you know, a lot of things come up in our head, right? Some, you know, for like people that analyze stuff, you know, they might be thinking like, man, if I run, my body's going to hurt. I'm going to be sweaty. You know, uh, it's X amount of degrees out there. Or if it's raining, I'm going to get wet, right? So we make up all these things in our head, right, to prevent us from doing the things that we want to do right and uh micro commitments can actually help you accomplish that and the way you would use micro commitments so like in the the example i was given about exercising right a micro commitment would be grabbing a pair of shoes and putting some socks and putting it right by the door right and even if you don't run that day that's okay what you're doing is you're programming yourself to seeing those shoes at the door and uh, you know these commitments that you do like probably uh, like getting your clothes ready to go run right looking at the weather so all these little micro commitments can actually help you to start your plan of exercising right for me it actually helped uh, what I started doing was you know putting my shoes by the couch and that way if I sit on the couch I know that, hey, you know what? You need to exercise, right? Right by the couch, because, you know, people sit down at the couch, they're gonna go ahead and watch TV. So that was a, a like a subliminal message for myself to like get up and go exercise, right? So that actually had helped me um, start exercising. So these little micro commitments. So like even running, right? Like running, oh man, I, I can tell you right now, when I started running, I was in a lot of pain. And some of the micro commitments is saying, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and walk for half a mile and start building up your stamina, start building up, you know, uh, start building up your, your muscles, right? Because then that way you can handle more. It took me a while to start running uh, over five miles, right? So I would start doing these little micro commitments and tell myself, you know what, I'm gonna run uh, for a mile today, right? I'm gonna run two miles today. And I got to the point where now I can run over five miles uh, and, you know, up to eight miles, right? So, you know, I haven't gone past the eight miles yet. However, all these micro commitments have actually led me to running to the amount of miles that I'm running today, right? So, you know, like I said, putting the shoes by my couch, right? Getting the socks ready, getting my clothes ready, right? Uh, looking at the routes that I'm going to be running, right? And a lot of it is, again... Uh, getting buy-in from yourself, right? Letting yourself know that if you do this, right, you'll benefit and get that. So, you know, use that little micro commitments for yourself. It doesn't have to be for exercise. It can be for studying. It can be, uh, you know, for different, different things. So, you know, just go ahead and, you know, use those micro commitment, micro commitments, uh, tongue twisted there. Use those micro commitments to get you going so you can start you know uh, moving in the direction that you want to move into anyways uh, i hope that helped i hope you got value out of that and i'll see you on the next video